Hi guys, welcome back to my- Nope, that's not what I say. Yeah. Oh my god, you're back. You guys, we are talking about resolutions today. I had so many people that DM'd me. I tried something new this year, and instead of just doing like a regular resolutions list, I used post-its, and I basically chose different categories from a couple of books that I read. Um, I got inspired by The Happiness Project and Happiness Advantage, and so I just- went like topic by topic and really thought about it. Like I gave myself probably two or three days to like really think about what I wanted to work on this year. And I was really proud of myself from last year because now I kicked my alcohol and diet coke habit. Got a dog finally. I marked that off my list last year. Um, so we are gonna just go, oh, there's another dog. Forgot to tell you guys, we're fostering. Her name is Rocky. She was found at the Palmdale shelter. She's a sweet little girl. She loves kids. She loves to play with dogs. She's really smart. She hates her. <laughs> She's gonna find a nice home. And her fur feels like mink. Like I wanna wear it as a scarf. No, I don't. All right guys, so we're talking resolutions. I switched it up this year and I did post-its. You guys obviously were really into it because I got so many, so many DMs and tags. So let's talk about this. For everyone else that's kind of lagging, don't worry. You can start resolutions whenever you want. I like to like try to check them every six months and see how I'm doing, but jump into it. You're not too late. And I want to talk about why resolutions are important and also how to keep them. Because I think I read a statistic somewhere where like 80% of Americans don't keep their resolutions. And I think too many of them, it can be overwhelming, but I also like to kind of keep a cushion where I have a lot because even if I get to half of them, I feel like I've accomplished something. Okay guys, so basically resolutions are new habits that you're trying to teach yourself. And I have read before that it takes 21 days to really get a habit, like to stick to your regular routine. What I found is it's so hard. I don't know why it's so hard for us to change our behavior because we all know that we're supposed to like get good sleep, we're supposed to eat healthy, we're supposed to be kind to people, but like I don't understand why it's so hard. It has been so hard for me, but I, I have to say, I'm like year six or seven of doing resolutions and keeping track of like goals. And it has been, it's gotten easier over time. But one tip I'll tell you is I feel like don't put the pressure on yourself to go from like zero to a hundred really quick. Like I think that you should take your time and really like each day try to work on a different category, but don't feel overwhelmed because then you're just gonna get discouraged. So for those of you who have followed me on Instagram, I usually do a list where I say, what would I be, have, and do if failure was not an option? And that was something I've done for the past two years. And I would say in six months time, what would I have, what would I be, what would I do, and then a year from now. So like I go and check that every six months. So what I've done this year is a little different because I wanted to have post-its that were like actual reminders. All right guys, so first topic was I want to try. And when I thought about this, I was like, there's so many things that in the back of my head, I'm like, I want to try to like do, and I've wanted to do it for years, but I just haven't made the time. So this is my year. I wanted to start trying fun makeup, like doing fun makeup looks, cause I kind of like teetered into that area last year, but I really want to like get into like fun makeup and I want to try meditating daily. So we're about a month into 2020 and I have been meditating daily, sometimes twice a day and it has been life changing. I feel so bad because I'm so cynical. I never believed in meditating, but it is so amazing. Even if you just stop and like do breathing exercises and just take a minute to slow your mind down. It really is so incredible. I know a lot of people like to take a pill because they feel like it like calms them faster. But meditating over time, you guys, like science has proven that if you start meditating, it actually has longer lasting effects because once you stop taking those pills, you're back to like being full of panic and anxiety. So check out meditating. There's so many apps that will help you with it. And then my third thing for this was a daily gratitude list. Um, another book that I read called Things You Can Change and Things You Can't. I really loved the idea of starting the day off with a gratitude list, just three things every morning. Um, I actually did that at Hoffman Institute and it helps to like reprogram your brain to start seeing positive throughout your day versus negative. And I've been doing it for about three weeks now and I have to say it helps. Okay, next up is I want to be. So for this one, I was trying to think about physically where I wanted to be, mentally where I wanted to be, and things that I just really needed to work on. And so for me, my first one was I wanted to be present. 
So I talked a lot about like making more eye contact with people, putting down my phone when I'm talking to people, trying not to like multitask all the time. Um, I want to be healthy. I've been working out and sticking to that. My next goal is I've got to like, I know we just worked on all of us together getting rid of sugar in our lives. I still have a lot to do in that area, but I want to be happy, which I think I am. I've been practicing like being grateful and I have been trying to just be really calm. And I think it's been helping. I want to be home, which we are, we're in my house. And then I want to be grateful and that. I know that like that goes back to my gratitude list, but I don't think it hurts to have it down on two lists. My third post-it here was I want to learn. This to me goes into the hobby category. And I think the hobbies are so important because I think Americans get so tied up in just work, 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 and then just like being super lazy. Like Saturdays and Sundays, it's kind of hard because you don't have anybody really like telling you to wake up early or telling you to like go to a museum or like start reading a book or like just do something that's active and is a hobby, you know, whether you're drawing or what people do. I don't know what people do. Tennis. Another way to figure out what your hobby is, you guys, figure out what you used to do when you were younger. Like, what did you do when you were nine or 10 years old? And you also want to pick something that doesn't like bring financial gain. So don't think about like money here. Do something that truly is just going to be fun for you and like stimulate your mind in other ways than work does. So my things for learn is TikTok. It's so fun. I know everyone that like is on it gets addicted. I really would love to learn TikTok. So I'm gonna somehow like find a 10 year old that will take me under her wing and teach me. My second thing was tennis. Mike and I did a lesson a few weeks ago on vacation and I actually really liked it and I sucked at it. So I feel like it could be a fun hobby for us to do that. I like dancing. I don't even know what that means to be honest. I'm really good at drunk dancing, but I don't drink anymore. I should go full out dirty dancing and learn the merengue or I don't know. I'm gonna figure out something, but I'd like to just learn a technical like dancing skill. I literally am just Googling hobbies, okay? We've got writing, gardening, dancing, photography, painting, cooking, knitting. Shopping is a hobby, but not great for you. No, don't do hobby. don't do shopping. Collect stamps. <laughs> you can do railroad transport modeling if you want to. <laughs> okay guys, so now my next post-it is I want to quit being judgmental. That is Oh my God, Mike and I both have been working on that. Like we noticed if we'd be in the car and we'd like pass somebody that was wearing something wild or was doing something, we'd like immediately one of us would like make a negative comment about it. And so we're both trying to keep each other in a place where we're like not being judgmental about especially strangers. I want to quit is eating sugar. I'm such an addict, it's crazy. I mean, sugar really, any white powder substance is not great, guys, stay away from it. All right guys, so moving on to my last four post-its, I want to have, I was thinking in this category of things that, I wasn't thinking so much about like physical things to have or to own, I was thinking more of like things in my life, like activities and things I wanted to do. Like I want to have more game nights, we've been having that regularly, we've been doing like Shabbat dinners. I want to have more time off at home, which I've been so good about my weekends. I want to have eight hours of sleep. I'm actually keeping a sleep diary. I know it sounds so nerdy, but I just thought like if I actually see how many hours I'm sleeping, it'll help me to just like keep that goal. Reading 10 books this year. So I'm not traveling as much because airplanes are the best time to read. So I actually now on my calendar and on the weekend, I'm putting aside 90 minute like segments to read so I actually can get through these books. And then the last thing was I want to have empathy and compassion and that kind of goes into the judgmental thing. But that just means even being a hairstylist, when I would hear somebody's like story or something dramatic that's happening to them or something painful, I kind of would avoid it. So I'm trying to have like more empathy and compassion for people. Okay, so next up is I want to start. I wanted to start smiling. I used to hate my smile and I never smiled. I remember in like middle school and high school, I never ever wanted to smile and I think I just adopted that resting face. I've been smiling the past like probably four or five months more and I actually, it's because I read another book that told me if you actually smile, you guys do it really quick and smile. It tricks your brain into thinking you're happy if you actually smile. I want to start volunteering. Um, fostering was on my list and it's so fun fostering this little girl. There's an amazing app called Help Everyone. If you guys go to that and put in your zip code, it'll actually tell you what you can do, like different ways that you can be of service in your area. So guys, these are different ways that you can volunteer. Offer to help a family. You can volunteer at your local school. Visit a senior center. Oh, and it will make them feel so good if you just go in and take them flowers or cookies or something. So animal rescue shelters, you can go do so many things there. You can go to Habitat for Humanity and help out. 
um, local libraries or art museums you can volunteer at. You can go to the YMCA. There's so many things, but like volunteer at a soup kitchen or even three more things. This is kind of a big list for me. I want to start taking trips with my family and my friends. Um, last year I got to go with my sister-in-law to the Bahamas and my best friend to Australia. And it was so fun because I think traveling can get so isolated and lonely. So it was really fun to have them with me. The last thing I had was tutorials. I am going to start this year at Main Addicts doing like kind of like professional hair tutorials. And then at Way, I'm going to be doing tutorials on my own hair. So I'm excited about that. So my last two is I want to continue and I'm going to stop. So I want to continue. That was something that I thought about last year. Like what are the things that I did that made me feel really good, that made me happy, that I want to continue doing. So like it might look like a long list, but it's just kind of a reminder. It's not nothing that's stressful. Um, so for me, it was I want to continue filming YouTube. Here we are. I want to continue hiking. I really love getting outdoors on a Sunday morning and just like getting fresh air. I want to continue working out early morning. And you know I have workouts on another list, but this is just another reminder. I want to continue drinking water. And then my last thing was kind of cheesy. It's a little corny, but I put, I want to continue hugging people because oh. I was, for 39 years, I was anti-hugging. It just freaked me out. And so, I have really enjoyed giving a hug. Instead of like getting a hug, I'm now giving a hug and it feels really good. And then last but not least, I'm going to stop. I'm gonna stop with the plastic waste. So the plastic waste for us was just ordering Postmates too much, so we need to start planning ahead. Mike wants to cook more, and when we don't cook, we wanna to try to use like food delivery services that have more eco-friendly packaging. Okay, so my last two for I'm gonna stop procrastinating. I was the worst procrastinator, I still am. And then my last thing was being controlling. Because sometimes I can take the control thing a little too far. So I'm trying to like be a little bit more chill and just, you know, take after her. I kind of took a miss, mismatch. I took a mishmash? <laughs> I made a mishmash. <laughs> so I just kind of made a mix and I picked like some of my favorite things to focus on in each category and I made it my phone background. I've got tutorials. I've got smiling more. I have my morning workouts, no phone, hugging people, learning TikTok, saying I love you, hiking, spending time with my friends, having time off at home, learning tennis, and then that's just a regular Google image search of people dancing. I'm sorry if those people are watching, but. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm so intrigued at how you guys are keeping your resolutions, what your resolutions are, so let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> make sure that you like and subscribe and share. <laughs> and share. <laughs>